Hi everyone, welcome to Park Maths. In this video, I am going to solve this nice algebraic math problem. Now, to solve this algebraic math problem properly, first we will write solution and then we will rewrite this question in the solution again and we will try to solve it step by step. So, the question is x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to 990 now to solve this question there will be different approaches different persons will be use different approaches but here my approach is i will find the mean of these three expressions so if we add these three expressions with each other and divide by 3 we will get x plus 3 so here I will replace x plus 3 with another variable let us that variable is 3 so let x plus 3 is equal to t so I will replace x plus 3 in this expression with t but before replacing x plus 3 with t I am going to do one more step in this side so we can write this side as we can add x plus 2 as x plus 3 minus 1 because 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and x plus 3 will be the same because th we need to substitute it and we can write x plus 4 as x plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 990. Now let us replace x plus 3 in these three expressions with t. So this equation will become it will become t minus 1 times it will be only t and it will become t plus 1 is equal to 990 no my dears look into these two expressions they are making a famous algebraic identity a minus b a plus b so here we will use this famous algebraic identity a minus b times a plus b is equal to a square minus b square so here in the left hand side of this equation we will use this algebraic identity so it will become t minus 1 and t plus 1 it will become t square minus 1 square but 1 square is equal to 1 times t is equal to 990 now let us multiply this t inside so it will become t cube minus t is equal to and I am also trying to write this number in this form so we can write 990 as 1000 minus 10 now I will shift these two numbers to the left hand side so this will become t cube and first I will write this it will become minus 1000 minus t and it will become this is negative so when we shift it to the left hand side so it will become positive so plus 10 is equal to 0 now we can write 1000 in cubic form as 10 cube so here we will replace 1000 with 10 cube minus 10 and plus 10 is equal to 0 now this is a famous algebraic cubic identity a cube minus b cube so here we will use this cubic formula a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a square plus a times b plus b square so by using this cubic formula here in this equation 
so this equation will become a is t and b is 10 so it will become t minus 10 times t square plus 10 times t plus b square b is 10 so 10 square is equal to 100 and here from these two terms we will take negative common so it will become minus t minus 10 is equal to 0 now my dears look into both the expressions in both the expressions t minus 10 and t minus 10 is common so let us take out t minus 10 common so it will become t minus 10 times t square plus 10 t plus 100 and here only 1 is left so it will become minus 1 is equal to 0 let us further simplify this equation so it will become t minus 10 and t square plus 10 t and 100 minus 1 is plus 99 is equal to 0 no since the product of these two expressions is equal to 0 so there are two cases this expression will be 0 or this expression will be 0 so let us take 10 t minus 10 is equal to 0 so it will become we will shape this minus 10 to the right hand side so it will become plus 10 now we will take this expression equal to 0 so we will do these steps here the second equation was t square plus 10t plus 99 is equal to 0 now here i will use a discriminant formula to check out if the roots of this equation are real or imaginary if the roots are real so we will try to calculate or find it if the roots are imaginary so we will skip these roots so the discriminant formula is b square minus 4ac so here b is 10 and the value of a is 1 and the value of c is 99 so it will become 10 b square which is 10 square minus 4 the value of a is 1 and the value of c is 99 so 10 square is equal to 100 minus 9 times 4 is 36 6 3 will be carried and 9 times 4 is 36 36 plus 3 39 now 100 minus 396 is minus 296 which is less than 0 so it means that the roots of this equation are imaginary or complex so here we will reject to find the roots of this equation now come to the previous value here ast is equal to 10 but as we know that in the start of the question we replace t with x plus 3 so here let us put the value of t in that equation so x x plus 3 was equal to t and the value of t here is 10 so it will become x plus 3 is equal to 10 so we will shape this 3 to the right hand side so it will become x is equal to 10 minus 3 so x is equal to 7 so finally x is equal to 7 is one of the possible real root of this nice algebraic math problem and last don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for such a more interesting math videos thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye